Hello everyone and welcome to the review of this uh, Tomo device. I'm calling it a device because this thing is several devices into one. It's a power bank, it's a battery charger uh, and so on. And it's very smart and you are going to see why. So there are some specifications here on the box. If you want you can pause the video and read them. But uh, it's not doing a justice to this product because it's actually more smart than you can actually read on the box about it and a lot of people will say are you praising are you reviewing a simple battery box well this is not a simple battery box it's a very intelligent device and i'm going to show you why just right now so it comes rather poor bundled you only get a micro usb cable and this box which has here some things specified on it but there's no actually real capacity it's just a capacity to have and it has here a display which is of course not working now and some connectors you have two usb ports a switch and two dc in jacks one is a usb type C or something and the other one is a micro USB so if you slide this you are going to find here four slots four slots for uh, one eight six five zero cells and you can actually fit four of those and first thing that's it's smart on this device is they have this big part here and a very long travel spring so that makes it uh, very useful because you can use actually any type of lithium ion cell here uh, there are several type of lithium ion cells there are some that don't have a big contact here some have tabs or are meant to be soldered by tabs and so on I'm going to show you right away what I'm talking about and this thing will accommodate all the variation of lithium cells with this size rating so why I'm using this is because I have a power bank like this that went like that of course you can always replace the mic the usb ports but takes a lot of work and it's not the best power bank that i had it did have good capacity but crappy quality i also have this power bank which has good capacity but it has a very very big problem if you let this to charge it will overcharge and overcharge and it will get that hot you cannot hold your hands on this so you can burn down your house using this i have this thing which if you try to plug the micro usb cable the cable inside it moves with all the electronics in and out so what the hell i'm going to do all, with all these faulty things i'm just going to take them apart get the cells out and put them on this thing and to do that you don't need much of a knowledge you just need brute force and that's what i'm going to use careful not to puncture some wires inside and do a short circuit or bad things like that so i think that this baby is going to crack open right away come on come on i want your cells out right away so use the force look use the force right so this thing is kind of like that and it has some clips around so i'm going to try to pry this also off has some kind of clips or glue holding it into place and of course I'm more powerful than this thing is and the cells are glued all right so that was it it has three cells inside that's the charger board the USB ports the crappy USB charger that is inside and now I'm going to do something very smart and that is to use a set of pliers and I'm going to cut of course the red wire and the black wire 
and now I'm going to cut the black wire from here and I'm going to remove this safety insulation tape from the top of the cells just like that no mercy there and now I'm going to cut the nickel tab here and the nickel tab here like that and that's the first free cell and I'm going to do the same for the first part here top part and now I'm going to cut as much as I can from and remove the nickel parts just like that very nice very clean and the same will go here on the bottom that is nice and clean so here's my first recovered cell very nice very clean and I'm going to quickly do the same for the other cells as well so tabs will go just strip away and the same here careful not to short circuit them or do any kind of crazy stuff as uh, these kind of cells are kind of tricky to handle they can blow up if you short circuit them because they are not protected in any kind of way and I'm going to remove some of the glue here but I'm not going to do a very good job that should do it and now I'm going to fix them inside of this new charger so minus is here plus is here and I was talking to you about this very special build and if I put this on power on right away it shows that I have a cell here and I'm going to put the other cell and there's another one and I'm going to put the remaining ones and I'm going to close this thing as you can see I'm using only three cells from four and now the very interesting stuff about this charger is the fact that it has four independent circuits for each battery and you can use different type of batteries with different state of charges with different capacities and this thing will charge them all uh, individually and even if you use different uh, charged uh, cells it will actually discharge and use this as a power bank with all those different batteries and that thing is actually amazing so you actually have four independent uh, power banks inside this device and they all will charge independent and discharge independent but will uh, supply a constant output from all those ports directly to one single port so it will sum all the cells that are inside and it will turn them into one single power bank using absolutely different type of batteries which is amazing but the goodies don't end here and to fully demonstrate I'm going to use my mobile phone and this cable so I'm going to connect it to the output I'm going to connect my mobile phone to it and I'm going to start the power bank from here power bank is turning on and it's now charging and look at that it has a voltage display of the output and a current display so this is how fast my phone is now charging and it's limited by this cable and if I change the port it will change the indication that it's using the other port and of course this one charges faster which is really really nice so this is actually labeled for 1 amp and this is for 2 amps that is a bit strange but it's also related how the USB ports recognize the cable and recognize the phone so it has kind of a smart built-in circuit that controls the charge current and now it's doing almost 1 amp which is very good and if I go to the 2 amps port it's only limited to 0. Point something, 0. 0.5 amps which is a bit strange right and what I'm going to do now so the cells as you can see are on this state of charge I'm going to open this up I'm going to turn it off 
And now I have another one here. And if I power this on, this thing has three cells which are fully charged. So I'm going to power it off, take one cell out, and I'm going to move this fully charged cell onto this charger. And I'm going to power them on. And guess what? I have different state of charged cells, but this thing will also output a constant current and it will charge my phone without any kind of problems regardless of how the batteries are charged. The good thing is if I put the cells to charge they will fully charge independently so none of them will get damaged because they are fully controlled independently. So this thing is really 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 smart and very safe to use with a different type of cells and i'm going also to show you how it charges so i'm going to use the output from this fully charged bank to the charging port of the other and i'm going to turn on the power bank and look at that this one is outputting already one one point something amps to the other and this one is charging the cells which is really really nice and I'm going to test the other port let's see what the current is on the other one so it's the same going into the batteries that are there and I'm going to test something else I'm going to switch them both off I'm going to open them up and I'm going to move one cell to the other charger and now I'm going to use this to charge this one and let's see now the current so as you can see the one that charges the other is now actually charging slower because there are lesser cells in this one so it's very marked it's protecting this by limiting the charge current which is around 400 milliamps for cell which is very safe for lithium ion so yet again this proves that these devices are very smart and if I reverse them now if I move the cable and we'll do something like that I should have a higher current and look at that it's one point almost six amps going into this charger here so it's actually 400 milliamps for cell which is very very nice and I can also add another load on them and now I'm going to also charge my mobile phone so I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this uh, small review of this Tomo power bank charger thing. Uh, if you wish to buy something like this, you can find it in the video description below. I have included the link where to get this. Uh, there are several models, of course. Uh, there are some of them which have even an extra input and some which also have one single input. Uh, that's a choice that you have to make. Uh, the difference, the price difference between them is very small, so you can uh, search to see differences and choose the one that you like the best. So until my next review, see you and bye bye.